All right, so I decided I'd make a few more of these type of videos. I enjoyed the last one. So I'm back, and I'm going to be doing some water buffalo competition hunting this time around, and we'll see how it goes. And looks like we're being charged. I'm going to take this one out with the parker. A little bit of strategy to this. Turn to face. Domed. And he's down. Small male to start the hunt. And there's another small male. He's going to get the same treatment as the first one. Come on. Oh, okay. I think he just kind of ran right over me. Interesting. Ooh. I saw some lung blood there. But. Oh, we tagged him in the foot. Oh, he's coming back for more. Oops, we hit a tree. Okay, well. We got the long hit. He won't go too far. And there we go. There's our water buffalo. Went a little further than I would have liked him to, but he's down. And I think he scored a little better than the last one. I don't remember what the last one scored. About the same. Looks like we got a little female here. A little bit of hunter score never hurts. We got another one over there. That actually, judging by the horn style, might actually be a small male. Just kind of lead our friend here a little bit further. Ah, uh, figured he might hear that for some reason. While water buffalo are very dense, they seem to detect their friends getting domed in the head from quite a distance. Which I find to be odd. They don't believe it's the sound of the bow that's spooking them from there. And in fact, I know it's not because I've used the snake bite for this same job. And it has the same effect. Looks like we got another candidate though. That looks like a female there, but I've just picked up a max weight track. But it's looking like nothing around her, so it wouldn't hurt to take her out. And then go on to find the owner of this track here. Come on, come get me. 
Here she comes. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Nope. Oh. She really launched into that attack. Down you go. Didn't even hit Skull. Just like right through her ear hole into her brain, I guess. Interesting. Alright, let's get back on this track. And hope that, uh... He didn't sense his, uh, his friend there getting domed in the head. Oh, here's our heavy one. We seem to have snuck up on him. He's looking to be another average male. But, he's still getting the smoke. Ooh. That was a little too close for comfort. But he's down. Another shot to the brain that doesn't include the skull. Interesting. Let's see if we can't make a lung shot on this pig here. A little... And we dropped him. Had to have been a heart shot. Let's see what we hit here. No trophy by any means, but hell of a shot on him. And that is looking like definitely had to be a hard shot. And that is what we got on him. Little 707. Not a whole lot of cash, but good to get the harvest. Oh, we have another male. Looks to be about the size of our usual ones. Now, I'm getting a little bit trigger happy, so we're going to take this one with the 340. And... He's down. He looks to be about the size of all the other males we've encountered, but at least we're seeing them. And we got a nice double lung shot on him. Another 180-200 range. There we go. We got a few water buffalo. Like a small male there. I think we're going to go see if there's any more in this group. Play a little game with them. More, we'll see how this goes. The goal, of course, is uh, not to die. In case that wasn't obvious.
Oop, I think I should have just died, but I didn't. Oop, I lose. I lose again. And she's down. Looks like we got a half decent male running away. See if we can get a shot at him. I'm thinking once we get out to this opening, we should be able to put a few into him. Come on. There we go. And he's down. And there's another male over there. Let's see, it looks like he just stopped moving. Female also stopped over there. See if we can't get a decent shot on him. There he is. Ideally, I'd like him to turn. I'd rather not fire one right up his... Oh, okay, well... So much for that, I guess. Doesn't look like anybody else is hanging out down here. We'll go pick up our water buffalo. And I'm thinking we're going to fast travel down to this tent here and walk the other side of the marsh here. We've already gotten this done. We'll see if the other side treats us a little better. Because this section, there was a good amount of water buffalo, but nothing special. We'll see if we can maybe run into the albino water buffalo that I've been pursuing for quite some time now. Body and a right lung hit. 210. I think that might be the biggest one since we started, unfortunately. <laughs> but it is what it is. We'll head on down here. We'll see what's around. Oh, okay. We got a male Rusa deer right on top of us. And a quartering away. And he's down. Looks like there's a couple here. That also looks like a small male, but he's much smaller than this one, so we're gonna stick on this one. And he is down. 184. Looks like we got a male water buffalo crossing the river up there. I'm thinking he might be the last one we take. He's looking like one of the better ones we've seen. And he's not very big, which isn't great, but not all hunts are great.
Let's just see if we can get a shot at him. Hopefully he's just inside those trees there. Where are you, buddy? There he is. Let's see. And I think we hit him. Let's put some more ammo in the gun and see if maybe we can get a follow-up shot. And it looks like we got a lung hit on him. He won't be, oh, there he is right there. Not a bad shot at all through that thick mass of trees. Oh, another male. Might as well add him to our list of targets. And he's down as well. And here is our other water buffalo that we put down on the run. And it looks like we got an achievement for 250 340 Weatherby Magnum shot or er, harvest. Not a bad way to do it. All right, so we didn't get a big water buffalo for the competition. But we still saw lots, shot lots. I got to show off where and how I hunt water buffalo. I hope that that helps people who are looking to hunt water buffalo. I know that they're pretty dumb and, you know, anybody can run down the river and shoot them, but that's how I do it.